There are lots of free templates that you can get online to build a website from, but the problem is if you use what they give you, your site's going to look exactly the same as everyone else who uses that free template. The simplest way to make yours look unique is to use a graphics editor to change some of the graphics. That's what I'm going to show you how to do here. I grabbed this uh, template that showed was an architect site and they're looking at plans and stuff. Well, I want to do something different so I'm going to change the graphics on here and I'll show you how simple it is. First thing I want to do is grab the magic wand, click on this little area right here that's part of the design I'll show you later and I'm going to go edit, copy, then I'm going to create a new uh, piece of paper to work on and say OK and go edit, paste. So I save that down here as part of my design. Then I'm going to go back to the original picture. I want to use the same background colors so it melds in with the site. So I'm going to use my eyedropper tool and I'm going to grab, uh, well this is a pretty much the part of the color. I'll flip those and then I'll grab this darker color over here. So I've got those two set up as a foreground and a background. All right. Now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to take the rectangular marquee tool and just drag a box over this whole thing. So I got the whole thing selected. Grab the paint bucket. Now I've just got the background. So I'm going to take the background that was there before, which is the, the one with the people in it, and just delete it because I don't need it anymore. So now I've just got a piece of paper that's the same colors that the other one was and it's sitting there waiting for me to put my stuff on it. So the first thing I want to do is deselect with a control D, grab this little piece right here and say select all, edit, copy, go back to here and say edit. I'm going to drop it right down here in the corner. Now I'm going to go grab another picture to replace the one that I took off. And this is a picture of some girls that I bought for a dollar on uh, the website that's linked down below. So I want to grab just the girls and not the background. So I'm going to go to the magic wand again, click in the white, go to select inverse, and go to edit, copy, come back to my little picture I'm working on and go edit, paste. And there they are. Now they're too big for the picture obviously so all I have to do is grab these corners and make them a little bit smaller. And just play around until it looks good. Now I want to make this background look a little more interesting. So I'm going to go up to uh, Filter, Render, uh, Lens Flare. So that just adds a little glare to it, uh, makes it look a little more interesting. Now I just go up to File, Save for Web. It shows me the two pictures. I want this to be higher because it's what more clarity to it. Say OK and save it in my folder. Now you can see when I open up uh, my page in a browser it's a completely different look than the architect's website. So go have fun with this.